In today's video, I would love to share with you seven steps of how I set my goals. Hello, my name is Yana and welcome to my channel. If we have not met before, so I said my name is Yana, I'm married to Will, we have two little boys and well obviously I'm a, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I am a wedding photographer, a business owner, so I have a lot on my plate and I try to succeed at a lot. Sometimes I fail, but I try to be as productive as possible and achieve many things in my life. And here on this channel, I share tips and strategies on productivity, motherhood, life, work. So if this sounds interesting to you and you would love to hang out with me, I would love to have you as my subscriber. So in today's video, I would love to share my seven steps that I go through anytime I feel like I need to refresh my goals or make sure that I'm on the right track and I know what exactly I'm working on and what I need to focus on in my life. I just wanna say one more time, and I'm sure that if you are watching this video about goals, you know how goals are important. And even though there are moments in your life that sometimes you feel so lost and you have no idea what to work on or what to do because it feels like there's so much on your plate already. Going through this process or looking at the goals that you have set for yourself, you will know what to work on and what your next step has to be and what your to-do list should look like. So let's jump into the steps. So the step number one is super easy. Get a notebook, a pen, and a cup of your favorite beverage. <laughs> I feel like doing things in on paper is a little bit better than in the computer or in the any kind of word processing document because it's like right in front of you and it's not somewhere in, in virtual pages that you keep scrolling and there's like, it feels like they never end. Writing things out with your own handwriting is a lot better. It somehow makes you feel a lot better and a lot more uh, relieved of the pressure of the thoughts and like all the ideas and I like thoughts that were bothering you before. So notebook, pen, and a cup of coffee in my case, maybe tea sometimes depending on how I feel. Step number two would be to think about your end of life. So whenever you're 70, 80, hopefully 90 years old, what do you want your life to look like? I think David Allen says it very well because it's it, it calls big picture goals that uh, when you think about the highest level of goals, what is that end goal for you? My grandma, she's turning 90 super soon and she's pretty energetic and she has people in her life that truly care for her. She has a very good health. She is doing things for herself most of the times and she is pretty strong and I'm sure she's still gardening. She has amazing taste and she is always so good looking and dressed so well. So I feel like she did accomplish amazing things in her life and right now she's reaping the benefits of everything that she has done in her life. I want to be like my grandma when I grow up and when I am 90 years old. So that's why we're setting the goals. So step number two is envision what your life, what do you want your life to look like when you are good and old. The new battery was just inserted into the camera so hopefully nothing changed too drastically in your view and then hopefully everything looks too good, too good, okay looking. So. Now let's go to the step number three. Step number three is pretty easy because you can just look over here in a moment and just write down the areas of your responsibilities or areas of your life down. And I'm going to say, take each page on, in your notebook and write that area on top of the page and then you will do all the work for each area of your responsibilities one at a time. You can also look in the description of this video as well to get those um, areas of responsibilities if you would like. So just write down on each page, each area and one, the first one, I mean, there is no specific order. You can start working on them as you feel like, as your ideas come to mind, but 
this is just the way I listed them. None of them are more important or less important because you are a whole being and if one area of life is neglected and you don't do any progress in that area of life the whole other part of your life is going to be suffering because if you don't care of your health and if you're sick and miserable and in pain then nothing else can be done and you cannot make progress in any i mean you will be doing progress in all other areas but it's not as um efficient and as productive and you don't do as good of a job as when you take care of every area of your life and then you can have energy and mind power for everything else another example would be if your children are you have bad relationship with your children or spouse then you suffer and you don't uh, you cannot concentrate as well on your work or if your house is a mess all the time you cannot build your relationships with your friends because you can never have anyone over and you cannot have that time together so every area of your life has to be in balance and you have to work on every area of your life and those areas are you me self which is I guess your char character the features of character that you want to develop the the way you as a human being are. The next one is significant other, which is either your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, anyone who is the closest to you. The next one is kids. If you have kids, obviously, if you don't have children, then that would be the only area that you will not um, be looking at. The next one is your family. It's your parents, it's your siblings, anyone who you belong to as, as your family unit. Uh, next one is relationships, and relationships would be your friendships, your coworkers, anyone outside of your spouse, significant other, children, and family. So anyone who you want to hang out with. The next one would be work, is the thing that you do to make money because even though let's say there is a period of life that some moms can be stay-at-home moms and they will not be making any money that will be put into the bank account however at some point of time most women will go back to work once their children grow older when they go to um, to school and they don't require as much uh, help and as much care anymore so I would think that most adults will have work as their goal in life um, then the next one will be finance which would be budgeting saving investing recreation is your time for fun and enjoyment next one is spiritual growth and if you were um not a believer not a believer then maybe you can skip this but i would think that most people would have this area because i think humans are spiritual being beings and then there is some um things that they need to be working on in their spiritual life and then the last one but not the least one is your home because we live in the place, apartments, homes, rental homes, does not matter. You live in a place and you have to take care of it and it takes a lot of time to take care of it. Now, as you have those pages set up with those titles, you are going to split the page into three columns and this is step number four, which is you in the first column, you're going to evaluate that area of life currently what does your health look like you can either do scale from one to ten and then circle or mark whatever mark you're going to give yourself or you can just write out the good things the bad things and just evaluate how you are doing in that area of life and i'm going to say go through each area how you're doing with your spouse significant other how are you doing with your kids relationships works and just evaluate how are you doing right now step number five is the most exciting one i think now you're going to write down the thoughts that come to mind it on to 2019 and this new year to come or if you are not doing this in the beginning of the year just what do you want the rest of your year to look like what are the areas of life that you want to improve on, work on, and just concentrate on, 
keeping in mind whatever statement you wrote in the very beginning what is your end goal what is your big picture goal what are you going to be when you are old when you're 70 80 90 years old what is this that you want to have in your life so how does 2019 work and progress is going to help you go towards that final goal write down the ideas the thoughts the projects the routines that you want to have to happen in 2019 into the second column for each area of your life now to the step six is um could be easy or could be very difficult um, or maybe you should have started with the step number six before five you have to in the third column for um for every area of life i would like you to write the why and i want to say write a good why for each area of life what do you want to achieve in 2019 why do you want to have it and everyone says that why is very important because you do want to be healthy when you're old so you do need to take care of your health you want to have a wonderful relationship uh, with your children so of course you need to dip, to be working on with um, with your children and trying to help them grow so no, step number six write your why and then step number seven is kind of easy you are just going to write your goal for 2019 as a summary at the bottom of each page for each area of life an example would be my goal for health would be to become stronger to go outside to exercise to drink water daily so basically take care of my body so that i can be strong and healthy for my family for my children my goal is to love my children well this is very broad. There's many things and many projects that I will be working on in 2019, but this is the goal that I have for 2019. And there you have it. Seven steps of how I set my goals. Anytime I feel lost or overwhelmed or I do not know how to proceed and what to work on next, I just go through the same process and I figure out what are those goals exactly in my life and what exactly should I be working on. In my next two videos, I will be talking about how to take action on those goals to make it very easy and very actionable. And then the second one, or maybe the other way around, I will share my 2019 goals if you're curious to hear those. Thank you so much for watching again and spending time with me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Or if you know me in real life, feel free to reach out or message me on social media. I would love to hear from you. The best compliment you can give me would be a like, and I would love to hear from you. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.